Hi, I am Senator Eduardo Matarazzo Suplicy of the Workers' Party. I represent the state of Sao Paulo, the one with the largest population, 41 2 million inhabitants out of the 200, almost 191.5 million Brazilians, the Brazilians that we are today. Uh, I was very happy to participate today in this conference of uh, Rio Plus 20, especially in this dialogue about the sustainability of all nations in the discussion about what to do with unemployment, the conditions of work, uh, the problem of greater freedom for migrants, to, for each person to choose whatever uh, the country, the person wants to, to live, to study, to work and so on. It will be good if one day we have total freedom to choose whatever we want to live. Well, I was quite happy because I had the opportunity to suggest that among the several conclusions and objectives of this conference, we will try to assure that everyone has the right to participate in the wealth of the nation, a concept that was uh, argued so well by Mr. Morris Strong, uh, that was one of the main participants, both of the conference of Rio de Janeiro 20 years ago and today here again, because he explained so well that we must assure that everyone has the right to participate in the commonwealth of a nation, in the same way that uh, say the stockholders uh, may participate in, in the results in the wealth of, of a company. So uh, there is one thing that is common to all of us human beings. We participate in, in a nation and we should have the right to participate at least partly from the wealth created in each nation. And these are through uh, citizens' basic income, the right of everyone to have a, an income sufficient to attend the basic needs of each one. Fortunately, I was able as a senator to present a proposal that became a law uh, voted by all parties in a consensus way both in the Senate, first in the Senate, and then in the Chamber of Deputies, and sanctioned by President Lula in January 8, 2004. The law 10835-2004 says that Brazil will institute a citizen's basic income, the right of everyone to participate in the wealth of the nation through an income that will start modestly, but that will be sufficient with time, with the progress of, na of the nation, to attend the basic needs of each one. And that will be paid to everyone, no matter origin, age, sex, race, social and econ or economic condition. Nobody will be negated, including the foreigners who are living in Brazil for five years or more. <clears throat> but the law says that the citizens' basic income will be instituted step by step, gradually, under the executive criteria taking into account first those most in need, such as it is done by the Bolsa Familia program today. Today the Bolsa Familia program uh, pays uh, a benefit to all families with income below a certain level, 140 reais per capita, and there are some conditionalities such as the mother who is pregnant must go to the health posts uh, of the municipality, the children from zero to six must take their vaccine, vaccines according to the calendar of the Ministry of Health, 
children from 7 to 16 must uh, attend at least 85% of the classes. Adolescents from 16 to 18 must attend at least 75% of the classes. Well, but you have some conditionalities, both in terms of level of income as well as health and education conditionalities. However, the citizen's basic income will be an equal right to everyone. When we have a citizen's basic income, the most important advantage will be from the point of view of dignity and freedom, from the point of view of what Professor Amartya Sen, the Nobel Prize winner, says in development as freedom, that development to be meaningful must signify a greater degree of freedom for all. Well, for that person, sometimes the young lady that has no other alternative uh, except to sell her body for the survival of herself and of the people in her family, or the young guy who, having no other alternative for the survival of his family, that decides to be a member of the narco-traffic gang, or if someone in the rural areas of Brazil or in the forestry accept a, a condition of work that reminds of the times of slavery. Once we have the citizens' basic income from, for such persons, they will be able to now say, no, I will not accept this only alternative that might be humiliating for myself or that may put my health and life in danger, from now on I can wait for some time, can, perhaps I may do a, a professional course until I can find another alternative that is more in agreement with my vocation, with my will. So it is in this sense that the citizens' basic income will have the greatest advantage. And more than that, we will eliminate all the the bureaucracy, having to know how much you earn in the formal or in the informal market, you will eliminate uh, any kind of stigma or sense of shame that when, once you have a program that says, uh, that you must say, well, I receive only that and that's why I need a complement of income. And you will eliminate also the the dependency phenomena that happens when you do have a system that says if you don't have at least such an amount then you deserve a complement of income of such an amount. And the person is thinking about will I do or not such an activity that will give me such an income. But if I start this activity and receive that much income and then the government takes whatever I was having in that program, then perhaps I won't do that work and I enter into the unemployment or poverty trap. And uh, one thing that's quite easy for everybody to understand is that we should all, like Maurice Strong said, have the right to participate at least somewhat in the commonwealth of the nation of each country. And perhaps we will all participate in the commonwealth of our planet. And then we will be able to, to say with Confucius, uncertainty is even worse than poverty. Can anyone go out from his home except through the door? It's a common sense solution. Where it is this solution? It is blowing in the wind. Like Bob Dylan says, you all remember when the war of Vietnam started and then the Iraq war started, people all over the world went to the streets to stop the war. And they used to sing together. Um, many Roads must a man walk down 
Be fools, you may call him a man. How many seas must a white dove see? Before she slips in the sand And how many times must the can no boats fly Before they are forever bad The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind The answer is blowing in the wind so, like Bob Dylan, or like Thomas Paine, that in 1795, the most important ideologue of the American and French Revolution said so clearly in agrarian justice, everyone should have the right to participate in the wealth of the nation through a citizen's income and a basic income that was taken from this person when private property was instituted. So it's a common sense solution. Thank you very much.